the real issues with. He's got the ball here, even though it is here. He brought it behind his back to go away from the lock. And the, the move is almost complete. Look at the amount of space between the two, too, right there. That's a lot of space. And then the game said, ah, nah, that's not what you did. Oh, we you. I didn't Still murky, come on. Oh, did I tell 2K land, man? Check this out, man. That's always starting the video off with full disclosure because y'all guys have been doing y'all absolute thing on these videos, man. On yesterday, eight, this is a jump shot video that we put on how to improve your jump shot consistency on yesterday man 8,000 views yesterday 560 some odd likes man y'all guys are the absolute real mvps the video before that 17,000 views 862 likes man y'all like your boy you're really rocking with it man so many comments we responded to them all man and i just want to say because of that y'all are making the channel be what it has been since it hit that also coveted 100k and because of that we got to get y'all with the noted gang wall of fame man Hey, listen, man, anybody that comes through and says something, I just want to showcase you guys on here. Hey, say, what up, JB? Dropping the pressure pack, and I'm going to keep copping. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Hey, we got one. We got uh, Kev. He said, Kev, Lil, Kev Low. He says, hey, they need to bring back the, bas the basketball return, you know, the ball return machine, man. They absolutely do, man, because I don't know why they took that out of the game, but we used to be able to practice, but I showed y'all a way to get the pseudo version of it uh what have you hey uh trey says i knew about everybody knew i knew about the triple stretch style but a lot of people don't know about the dribble style zach levine style makes your shot quicker um as it as it is higher or taller now i don't know if everybody can get that zach levine style but a lot of people don't want to change the dribble style because it actually impacts how they dribble and last but like not least my, hey, this is Mano. he says man something practical and realistic people be needing insight like this instead of clickbait titles and uh you know good work my g hey man good work to y'all man and with all that out of the way yes sir What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check this out. Like I said, as always, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. We trying to get this thing going to the moon, Alice. We got to get the 200 likes and the first 1,500 views to get the video out into the algorithm and get this thing going. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, I love each and every last one of y'all. Up first, we got the top 10 report as cut brought to you by Paul boy seeing man go over there and check my boy out man link down in the description cash out first random wizard second number three original malik number four ten uh ten gfg number five is uh enzo nasty six is key sticks will gfg is number seven swags return tnb number eight that boy nate tnb number nine demonized on twitch is ten and then a hey, my guy, Poe Boy, saying he's number 12 on the outside looking in, but this is what he says, rank number 12. It's a marathon. By the way, I stream every single uh, game live. If you missed the game, check out my past broadcast, man. That young man is out there working this year, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all. He's back. He back. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -da -da -da. He's back. Hey, he's doing his thing, man. So listen, and what people don't understand is it's not the first person to make top 10. Bro, you're going to be jostling and jockeying for those positions within the top 10 all year long. So it's not just you make top 10, that's it. Like everybody's not going to make top 10. Some people are going to be just like, like uh, they, they're not just, just not going to be top 10. It is what it is. Like me, I'll never get into the top 10. I'll get to the end of whatever it is. But after that, it's just going to gonna be it for me. And uh, you'll be trying to get into the top 10, but I'll never make that. I, I don't think a lot of people understand that because it wasn't very clear, but it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy, Zach Timmerman. He says, man, hey, the data from your games has arrived and it um and, and it made it clear that bass progression is uh the direction the bass progression is going expectations were set from ship and it's evident that we overshot the times harder to hit badges suffered more um the most but others did as well today's update in a, is a combo uh with last week and it hits the following issues and it just says a progression is increased for for most badges in all modes Progression is decreased for most badges in all modes. Immunity perk made stronger. Uh, Drill Savant perk made stronger. Higher wind modifiers 
uh, in, in almost all cases, difficulty modifiers, adjustment, and faster progression in drills. He also goes on to say that as many have mentioned recently, it's really helpful to go to go out and earn the bass perks and performance modifiers. You can find uh, you can find these and how to earn them in the badges menu in in the main nav. They are great assisters in badge progression. He's absolutely correct about that. We're going to talk about that in one second. But last but not least, he says the drill bump wasn't huge. Uh, if you if you split a if you split a drill. Uh, earnings, earnings, uh, multiple badges. You probably won't notice the the difference. But if you use one, if you're targeting a particular badge in in particular, in my opinion, it's better just to choose the one badge only. Spreading it out, uh, spreading it out or not, man. So I, I wouldn't spread it out at all, man. If you're gonna use drill savant and you're gonna actually do a drill, I just say just put it on one and keep going. You definitely notice a huge bump. As a matter of fact. I know that when I started the game today, a lot of badges that I did not have, I actually had those joints, man. It was crazy. It was like they was just there. And um, and I felt like uh it was because of this, I could actually feel it. And then so so I didn't even have to go back and play the games. It's like they had appended the the uh the the stuff like Claymore. Claymore was not progressing at all for me. And y'all know how much I stand corner and just shoot the basketball, right? But Claymore was not progressing at all for me. It was just just hanging there it just wasn't doing anything and so yesterday i was able to max claymore out i did a couple of drills played a couple of games put the right uh bot modifiers on as far as uh as far as like overdrive and stuff boom my claymore was maxed out and so uh and some other things too uh what uh chase down artists it, it, it went on ahead and got maxed out my dimer got maxed out so they, they definitely did some things let me tell y'all something man i definitely understand that they didn't want people to hit all of the badges because they didn't want anybody's build to be op but let me know do y'all feel like this year badges are just a compliment to your game they're not unlocking the ability to do something like they did in previous years they just complement it it just gives you a subtle boost in that direction or what have you so like if somebody had all the badges and all the badges was maxed out i don't even think i would care because to be honest you get mama mentality and when you get mama mentality you got all the takes and all your stuff is maxed out for a couple of minutes in the game anyway so i don't know if it's that big of a deal if they allow us to have all the badges and they're all at a, at a decent tier but i do know that the badges that i had been using they weren't maxed out but now the ones that I have been using, they they really are, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is it a W or is it an L? Up next, we got my boy Ty. Man, hey, man, he says, hey, watch this clip, forget yourself, and then watch the clip again. Uh, he said, do a move to the opposite side uh, to, to the lock so the lock can't pluck me, and he still got it. That's more or less what he's saying, man. We're going to go full screen with this by popular request because some people were asking, can we do these things full screen because they're having trouble seeing it, and I will oblige. So more or less, he comes down the court, makes the dribble, and this is something that my boy T was talking about yesterday. At first glance, you look at that and you say, wait a minute. I mean, you brought the ball back to him, so he just stole the ball, and that's, yeah, you think that's what happened. Then when you look at it again, you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And then you look at it in super slow motion. He took the ball away from him, put the ball behind his back, and then the game decided to bring the ball back the other way. And that's what people are having the really the real issues with. He's got the ball here, even though it is here. He brought it behind his back to go away from the lock. And the, the move is almost complete. Look at the amount of space between the two, too, right there. That's a lot of space. And then the game said, ah, nah, that's not what you did. I don't know if that's because of the latency or what. But at any rate, the lock is not in position to get this deal or what have you. And these are the things that I don't like as far as the game goes because you got locks that are going out there reaching and just doing crazy stuff man and 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 it's like they they look like they're playing good defense but they're not playing good defense they're just spamming and it's just like last year when people were getting a lot of interceptions that's why they toned that down and and like i said we definitely one of the reasons for the interceptions going down is because of the inbound and the ball issues that we had last year we asked for that they toned it down but a byproduct there is it's going to be tough to get interceptions because people would just you know you can't you, you don't see as many people doing that as they did last year where they're just pressing pressing the inbounder like that so it's cool but mike just responded in one sentence yeah that's really bad we'll look into it. <laughs> I just, 
that's really bad. We'll look into it. And then so Swan G Grandmaster Sensei Swan they says, finally, dang. And then so Power says, own ball steals either need to be nerfed or unpluckable needs to be uh, needs to be buffed. I don't know, I don't know which uh but steals are a problem right now. And as a, and as people get more uh defensive badges, it's gonna be worse. And then Lux says, while you're at it, please look. Please look into the delay uh, the community can vouch. And then Hanky the Tanky says, uh, Unpluckable needs a huge buff. Mike steals are way too overpowered. And I'll be honest with y'all, man. Uh, like you said, I, I think they already buffed something on yesterday because I felt like I wasn't able to get as many plucks. And, um, but I'm not a spammer anyway, so I couldn't really tell you, but I feel like they did something. They've done something already, or they're already back there tinkering and, and doing what they got to do. Y'all let me know if y'all have noticed that there's more ball security in the game or what have you, man. I just feel like it. I mean, it's just like, I can feel it. Changes in the game tonight. That's how I feel, man. Up next, hey, we got this... <laughs> One player, he said, one person says, hey man, how do y'all sit in the corner uh, for dweebs like like this? Look at it like a, look at, look at his little stands, just just proud to be in the corner. Like, wow, uh, the PG carries me every game. I spent $100 on the game. Like, y'all always come with that, with that opinion right there, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. If you think that there's more than one basketball on the court at one time and everybody needs to be running toward it like this is football, then shut the f up. Shut the f up. I get tired of people saying that like, 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 <laughs> why are you sitting in the corner and letting your point go correct? Because I want to win the game. I get the opportunity to play defense every possession, though. You all don't play defense every possession because y'all be like, <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna lie. If I can't play, if I can't get no shots, I'm not gonna play defense. You're not gonna win the game either because this is a team game and you got to use your team more than ever this game. Hey, uh, my boy, uh, my boy at Stats just says, you ever heard of a role player? It's common in the NBA if you didn't know. And that's just really all to it, man. You got to be role players. You got to have role players. You got to use your role players this year. You have to be able to, to understand that everybody, you have to share the ball this year in the first place. That's why a lot of the comp guys and stage guys are upset with this whole thing, with the shooting slump and all of this stuff. You get you get in the shooting slump because they got two things. You got the, the regular shooting slump where if you miss three, and then I think the team shooting slump, man, it's like if y'all miss five in a row or something like that, or y'all just not shooting well, you're gonna go into a team slump and then it's gonna be it's gonna be real ugly. Nobody's gonna be able to hit. So at that point, you gotta use some IQ and get some back doors and stuff like that. So this game is more team oriented than ever, but. We just, we just know that some people are inevitably, like how can you be mad at me because I chose to, to sit in the corner and, and let the guy hit me with, with the uh, passes and stuff like that. Why are you worried about what I'm doing anyway? But hey, it is what it is. Up next, we got All City Big Heck. He says, people that have no steel on their bill. Have you been have you been getting cooked and, and feel the uh, defenses out there? Or are we bumpy enough to get stops without steals? Uh, do we have to be steal made? I will tell you this, um, you don't need steal to play good defense in this game. It definitely helps. It definitely helps that you can strike fear into the hearts of people with it. But the last thing that I update on my bill or, or you know, upgrade on my bill is normally gonna be steal. And, and like, it just helps you play better defense because you're gonna play better position defense. You know that you don't have that steal as a bailout or a crutch. And like the way that I try to play, I try to only go for the steal when the person has made an egregious, egregious mistake or something like that. That boy Black Cobra though, he he responded, man, and he just came, he just came with this right here. He said, "Hey man, I'm fine out here with uh with my 53 steal." And you see him saying he getting bumpy enough on the perimeter, and and that's the main thing. Like like yes, if you get people to dribble into you and do stuff like that, they're gonna lose the ball. You don't even have to hit the button to get steal. The game actually does it. But my thing is, if they decide and then he gonna show right here where he graded the dude out because he, he was able to get the bump steal but um if they decide to take down steals though will you even get those bump steals that's what i would like to know and last but certainly not least hey we got this young man right here and he just says uh this is buke and he says i don't care about losing I just, uh, just about how I lose and it be in the worst ways. And he's not lying at all. It's so bad. Sometimes when you come out there and you think you're playing the game, you think you're hooping, you're doing right. And people are just beating you with some cheesy stuff, man. That's what I don't want to end up happening with the steals. Like if they, if they decide to tone the steals down and then you can't get them. Now we can't get steals out of the air and you can't get steals out of, out of, uh, on the, um, you know, on the court itself. 
as long as we can make people pick the ball up and, and bump them with strength and use our strength to our advantage, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. But if that happens, like that's, that's gonna be the next thing. It's gonna be like, we they getting too bumpy. They doing this, they doing that. It, it is what it is, man. We're gonna see how it goes, man. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all like the video. Gotta get the uh, 200 likes in the first 1500 views. And uh, you know, comment y'all thoughts down below. Uh, are y'all ready for this change? Because Mike already has told y'all change about to come. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap.